this series I'm starting to build is going to be in two parts. First, and obviously, I'm going to be going through the physical motions and teaching techniques. Throwing a basic punch and kick, or let's face it, that's a lot of what you're here to learn. If you're going to learn how to do it, you should know how to not hurt yourself in the process. It's not enough to it's not enough to just know it. You also have to practice it. Practicing is very important. Second, and possibly more importantly, I'm going to cover the mindset of self-defense. It's not just enough to know how to kick. It's to know where to kick and why. Why you're kicking. Self-defense is just as much a mental pattern as a physical one. And there's a lot of different ways to describe it. I mean, there's math and physics, physics which can describe what kind of forces you're imparting and exactly how you're moving. There's anatomy and biology, uh, which tell you where to strike and what the strike exactly does to the human body. There's poetry and spirituality that can come into play here too. And the body is just really an extension of yourself. I am going to start with the basics though. What to hit, how to hit it, and how not to hurt yourself in the process. I could, and likely will if this series takes off, lecture about this in the future, but the only lecture I plan on making is the one today about anatomy. We'll go ahead and start with what we're weaponizing here. Your body. Your body. Regardless of what it looks like, you came here to learn how to use it. To that end, you need to start by learning about your body. Start by sitting down, closing your eyes, and taking a slow, deep breath. Try to focus on that breath. In through the nose, and out through the mouth. And again, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. And as you breathe in, look to see if you're tense anywhere. It might be in your shoulders or in your chest. If your back hurts or your neck, that's normal. As you exhale, try to relax those areas that are tense. It might not make a noticeable difference at first, but keep breathing. In through the nose, and out through the mouth. And now we're going to take a moment and just try and visualize. Draw an imaginary line just straight down your body. Uh, I'm going to stand up for this. An imaginary line just straight down your body. You've got vulnerabilities all along this line. You've got the eyes, the throat. You've got breasts if they apply. You've got your solar plexus got your groin and each one of these areas can debilitate an ass assailant a strike to one of those spots can drop an opponent can remove their ability to fight there's more than just those though there's a number of other locations under the arms you've got a number of uh, See, where, where was my list? You've got elbows, hip flexors right here in the hip, the knees, and the instep of your foot. And there's symmetry here. And if you've got any training in first aid or sports medicine, Think about anywhere that you've seen a number of injuries and learned how to treat. 
If you're defending yourself, you're trying to create one of these injuries. Anyone familiar with chakras will also notice a correlation too, that a number of these vulnerabilities line up with chakras. I realize that this episode, as I'll call it, is a lot more lecture than everyone was probably expecting. But knowing where to hit is almost more important than how. If you're going to try to disable an attacker, you need to make sure every hit counts. And in the next class, I will be teaching you a basic stretching routine and how to properly form a fist and throw a punch.